Hey everybody, Big Rich here. Uh, this is Ohio Fish Rescue, and this is this video, this week's video. All right, we're out here at the back pond because I come out here and I was like, wow, it's clear. I actually saw the paddlefish. But if you can see, look at all the koi. They're jumbled up over there. They're jumbled up over here. And we are getting all kinds of algae growing all through here. And we ain't, we're not feeding at all. All right, I come up closer. Look at all of this algae around the outsides. It is just overtaken. But look at these fish. Not a better chance to see them sitting still in the group. And in the winter time like this. But yeah, you can see all this algae down here. I would actually like, this will be the first year. This is uh, going to be the third year it's going to be here. I would actually like to take and drain this pond down and pressure wash it. Take all the fish out. Because there's just so much crud. Look at this. Everywhere. It's all around this whole thing. here and if you guys don't know any better they will hide in that they'll all be see there's one down there they'll all hide in that green stuff right there and see people ask us what we do do we just let them you know be in there for the winter yes we leave our overflow running and we have our waterfall running, and it, it you know, even when it freezes over, it leaves a hole around the overflow, and then a hole where the water is splashing back in. Uh, so the fish never get sealed in in the winter. Uh, come over here. <laughs> Dangerous walking. All right. There's another fish down there. See how they just sit on the bottom? Beautiful butterfly. But yeah, this algae is everywhere in here. Covered this whole ledge. But come springtime, they'll eat it all. It'll all be gone. It's everywhere in here. We put a separate filter on there just for the winter uh, to help clear it up. And it's done a good job. It's actually getting clear. Um, we don't do anything for the winter special other than we just stop feeding them. When the water gets 55 degrees um, and lower, we stop feeding. Wow, sorry about the bright light. I'll get that out your eyes here in a second. There we go. Whew. Now you can see here how much the algae is just growing through. And you can see the water is clear. There's so much of it. It's grown over all the plants. Wow. And then there's the waterfall. So in the when it freezes over, it gets all the way around out here. And there's no there's no freeze and it ain't frozen. It just uh stays thawed. <sighs> And then all this week, it's supposed to be nice. So we're going to come out here. Oh, look at the rocks that spell Tracy's name. We never got that in the water. We're going to come out here and finish building this gazebo. All the pieces we pre-built are here. Over here. Some have blown off in the wind. And then here are some more of the legs. So we've got to finish building all this to be able to put this gazebo up out here. And that's our plans. Oh, look, the bird's down. We had a heck of a windstorm the other day. I'm surprised these plants are standing. Unless maybe Jerry picked them back up already. Because I see the wheelbarrow's knocked over. So maybe Jerry picked these plants up. But. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> it looks pretty vacant here in the winter time. Around the pond. 
I can't wait for uh, Greg Woodstock and Ed Ballou to come here because you can see that looks like an infinity edge there. That's what they're going to do from that corner all the way over to the center. That's going to be infinity edge, and there's going to be a river falling down the back side out into over here in the grass where it's going to be a junction where all the pumps will be called a pump vault, and then it'll pump water from there up here to the new filter and to that filter. So uh, we're going to be adding double the filtration on this. Uh, but, I mean, it's a brisk, cold day here. It's like, I don't know, 35, 39. But it's nice out. Uh, you can see the pond back there is still full. You can see some things floating on it. Uh, let's go up here and get a look from up top. Oh. Okay, I come up here on the deck. There we go. Yeah, a little, little shady. Can't really see in there. But we've got to pick up garbage like these three pots here. Some things in there. This is a fake plant. Don't worry, it'll live through the winter. <laughs> uh, all we had to take this inside, this wedding chapel type thing, it was sitting right on the back steps of the deck right there, or the patio, going up and over right here. Uh, the wind kept knocking it down. Uh, so hopefully this will be the summer that we get things done. We want a whole new barn there. That barn's 12 by 16. We want a 20 by 30 there. And then a gravel driveway going all the way around the outside, right through here, going on the other side of the tree, and then meeting up on the side of the house over here. Uh, and then this here will all be, it'll look like this river here, but it'll be a filter there. And then in the center here, this will be the big spot for the alligator snapping turtle. The filter will send filtered water past the alligator snapping turtle, and it'll waterfall right here, so it'll add double to that waterfall. Or this filter here, that's a wetland filter. That's about eight feet deep. And then this here is just a bog filter. It's where we put the plants all summer. And, uh, and you know, double the filtration should do it. It's kept it almost clear, you know, for the last two summers. Uh, the first summer wasn't wasn't good at all. It was uh, pretty cloudy and dirty. And, and uh, that's when we realized that the filter we made was way too small for the size of the pond because we... we tripled the size of the pond and never thought about tripling the size of the filter so now we're going to go and put another big filter in so this will all be landscaped big filter bigger than the one we got right in here the turtle here and then we'll have steps going down over and wood connecting right there and then summertime comes i want to put two posts in here and a walk plank out to a floating dock right here or we can take Tracy out there. And then you'll have the gazebo, and the, the table will be under the gazebo. And then on this end, see where the chairs are? We want to put the fire pit right there, so we'll have like four chairs around the fire pit, and then that corner will be the hammock back there. And then this will all be gazebo with the table and chairs under it. And it'll look good. Just got to get it done. All right, that's how I'm heading back in. Oh, and look at all this. All this cookware just sitting here waiting to be used. Oh. Okay, much warmer, much warmer. Oh, look at your colors. You are looking good. Look how red he is. I gotta clean this glass. I'll just take this big, huge magnet that's hard to move and just keep doing that, you know. I'm, I'm not really sick no more. I'm still weak. But uh, I've got a lot of things to do. I got to get in here, rebuild this whole plant thing. I had five of those all together, and it was all full of plants. And that used to be out here. That's gotten dissolved. I got to put all this gravel back covering all this. I got lots of things to do. Oh, I got to put away all this stuff right here. 
put this stuff away. But I've got a bunch of community service guys coming this week. And with me not being as sick, I'm, you know, I'm getting better. The only thing with me now is the cough subsiding. Everything's going away. I'm just still a little weak. So um, other than that, every day it's getting better. But let me take you in here and show you this. Josh took down that second saltwater setup and set it up down there. So now this is out of the way, which is nice. So we got our main saltwater tank. And then, uh, so here's another thing still got to do. Um, to get this tank back up and running. Let me see what had happened yesterday. He sold so much fish and he took in so much fish yesterday. This tank looks empty. This looks empty. This is looking empty. So is the bottom tanks. All right. This is still pretty full. Yeah, a lot of things. A lot of things have changed out here. It changes on a daily basis. Oh, this is looking empty. This was packed full of fish. We got Charlie right there. Stingray's healing up real nice. There's the electric eel. Uh, so, uh, give me like say two weeks. Back of my feet. And help from the community service guys we'll get this place back on track I got a bunch of stuff to put away here we'll be doing all right Josh has done a good job Jerry's done a good job but true this was that salt water setup and they cleaned all that sand out and everything <sighs> let me see here wow this place is really <laughs> packed full. I gotta get rid of some of this stuff. This trailer I've been trying to get over to Josh's house for over a year. That's all. No, them are good tanks. This has got to go back in the backyard. All that's got to get picked up. I'm working on this car right now. Uh, uh, the van's over there. Whew. So Josh is wanting to take that 75 gallon out of the back and put the the, the salt water tank and bring it up front here. So now in the next couple days we gotta empty this tank out. So we get rid of everything in that tank and uh separate you know put the plants, disperse them around uh and then uh set this up for salt water. Whew. But I'm getting better and I'm not so sick, so we're gonna get it done. Hi, Skyler. Hi. Uh, do you put them out there where next to where the tortoises used to be? Okay. Yeah, there's two little fish in there. Good girl. All right, guys. Um, thanks for listening to me, sticking around, and Skyler's got something to say to you. As always, stay fishy, my friend. There you go. <laughs>